thank God for honoring our prayers and bringing the British Prime Minister from ICU to a recovery ward. That he, which, he that which has begun a good work is going to accomplish it. I want to assure the world there is hope. There is hope. I want to assure the Republic of Ghana there is hope. There is health in Christ and there is salvation in Christ. Bring this particular one down to, you know, its end. I'm going to ask Pastor Willie to read a couple of scriptures, you know, to celebrate today's course. And the first one is going to be, you know, I have already read it on radio this morning, but I'm going to take my time and read it again. Isaiah, the 55th, the 55th chapter, Isaiah chapter 55, and from verse number one, uh, right up to verse number eight. And then we are going to move into the book of Luke and read few quarters of scripture. And it will be a blessing to you like never before. Share the page for me on Facebook. Will you let's work, uh, you know, English first. Uh, and then the grace of God will be a portion. Isaiah chapter 51 verse 1 to 8. 50, oh, everyone... Isaiah 55, 1 to 8. 55, 1 to 8. Ho, everyone that thirsted, come ye to the waters, and he that had no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money. Will and you without sure price. you are reading Isaiah 55, 1? You know, because Isaiah 55, 1 will read something like, Who has believed our report? All right. It's 53, right? Okay. All right, then do the correction and let's work. Isaiah 53, rather, ladies and gentlemen, Isaiah 53 from verse number one. Uh, let's work from there. Who had believed our report? Come on. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He had no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him striking, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with the stripes we are healed. Verse 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and was afflicted. Yet he op opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before her shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he striking. This is a beautiful section of scripture, will it? Let's, let us, you know, continue uh, in Luke chapter 22. And uh, this morning is going to be, you know, quite uh, a reading. Uh, we will start from Luke chapter 22, verse number 1. And then we will build downwards. It's going to be a couple of scriptures tonight. Uh, this morning, I am going to allow you to read all down. Uh, just to remind ourselves prophetically what Jesus has made or done for all of us, you know. So let's read from Luke chapter 22 from verse number 1. Now the feast of unleavened bread was not drew nigh, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then entered Satan into Judah's sermon, or surname Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains, how he might betray him unto them. And they were glad and covenanted to give him money. And he promised and sought opportunity to betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude. Then came the day of unleavened bread, when the Passover must be killed. When the, pass, when the Passover must be killed. Come on. And he sent Peter and John saying, Go and prepare us the Passover that we may eat. And they said unto him, Where will thou that we prepare? And he said unto them, Behold, when ye are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you, bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he entereth in. And ye shall say unto the good man of the house, The master said unto thee, Where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Passover with my disciple and he said and he shall show you a large upper room furnished 
there make ready. And they went and found as he had said unto them. And they made ready the Passover. And when the hour was come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. And he said unto them, well, with desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Verse 17. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourself. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them saying, This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise also the cup after supper saying, This cup is the new testament in my blood which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayed me is with me on the table. And truly the son of man goeth as it was determined by woe unto the man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to inquire among themselves which of them it was that should do this thing and there was also a strife among them which of them should be accounted the greatest and he said unto them the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them and they that exercise authority over, over them are called benefactors but ye shall not be so but he that is greatest among you let him be as the younger and he that is chief as he that doeth serve for whether is greater and he that sitteth at meat or he that serveth is not he that sitteth at meat but I am among you as he does serve it. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptation. And I appoint you on and I appoint you unto unto you a kingdom as my father hath appointed unto me. That ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on the thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to have you, and that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that my thy faith fail not. And when thou hast art con converted, strengthen thy brethren. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with you, both in prison and to death. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day, before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me and he said unto me unto them when i send you without purse and scrip and shoes lacked ye anything and they said nothing then said he unto them but now he that had purse let him take it and likewise his scrip and he that had no sword let him sell his garment and buy one for i say unto you that this that is written must be must yet be accomplished in me and he was reckoned among the transgressors for the things concerning me have an end and they said lord behold here are two souls and he said unto them it is enough and he came out and went and as he went he was wound to the mount of olives his and his disciples also followed him and when he was at the place he said unto them pray that ye enter not into temptation and he was withdrawn from them about the stones cast and kneeled down and prayed saying father if thou be willing remove this cup from me nevertheless not my will but thine be done and there appeared an angel unto him from heaven strengthening him and being in an agony he prayed more earnestly and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling upon the ground and when he rose up from the prayer and was come to his disciples he found them sleeping for sorrow and he said unto them why sleep ye rise and pray lest ye enter into temptation and while he yet spake behold a multitude and he that was called Judas one of the twelve went before them and drew near unto Jesus to kiss him and Jesus said unto him Judas betrayest thou the son of man with the keys when they which were about him saw that they would follow they said unto him lord shall we smite with a sword and one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear and jesus answered and said suffer ye thus far and he touched his ear and healed him and jesus said unto the chief priests and captains of the temple and the elders which were come to him be ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves when I was daily with you in the temple, you stretched forth no hands against me. But this is your hour and the power of the darkness. And they took him and led him and brought him into the high priest's house. And Peter followed afar off. And when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the hall and were set down together, Peter sat down among them. And a certain maid beheld him as he sat by the fire and earnestly looked upon him and said, This man was also with him. And he denied him, saying, Woman, I know him not. And after a little while, another saw him and said, Thou art also of them and Peter said man I am not and about the space of an hour after another confidently affirmed saying of a truth this fellow this fellow also was with him for he is a Galilean and Peter said man I know not what thou sayest and immediately while he yet spake the cock crew and the Lord said with 
10 and look on, on, upon Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. And the men held Jesus and mocked him and smote him. And when they had blindfolded him, they struck him on the face and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is it that smote thee? And many that and many other things blasphemously spake they against him. My sister says, and as soon as it was day, the elders of the people and the chief priests and the scribes came together and led him into their council saying, Are thou the Christ? Tell us. And he said unto them, If I tell you, you will not believe. And if I also ask you, will you not answer me nor let me go? Hereafter shall the Son of Man sit on the right hand of the power of God. Then said they all, Are thou the Son of God? And he said unto them, Yea, say that I am. And they said, what need we any further witness? For we ourselves have heard of his own. Chapter 23 word. from verse number 1, Pastor Willie, let's work. And the whole multitude of them arose and led him unto Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidden to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ the king. And Pilate said, saying, Are thou the king of the Jews? And he answered and said, Thou sayest, then said Pilate to the chief priests and to the people, I find no fault in this man. And they were the more fear, saying, He stir up the people, teaching throughout all Jewry, beginning from Galilee to this place. When Pilate heard of Galilee, he asked whether the man were a Galilean. And as soon as he knew that he belonged unto Herod's jurisdiction, he said unto Herod, who himself also was at, at Jerusalem at that time. And when Herod saw Jesus, he was exceeding glad, for he was desirous to see him of a long season because he had heard many things of him and he hoped to have he hoped to have seen some miracle done by him. Then he questioned him with him in many ways, but he answered him nothing. And the chief priests and scribes stood and vehemently accused him. And Herod with his men of war set him at naught and mocked him and arrayed him in gorgeous robe and set him again to Pilate. And the same day Pilate and, and Herod were made friends together. For before they were at enmity between themselves. And Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests and the rulers of the people, said unto them, Ye have brought this man unto me as one that perverted the people. And behold, I have examined him before you and found no fault in this man touching those things whereof ye accuse him. No, nor yet Herod, for I sent you to him. And lo, nothing worthy of death is done unto him. I will therefore chest him and release him for of necessity he must release one unto them at the feast and they cried out at once and saying away with this man and release unto us Barabbas who for a certain sedition made in this city for and for a murder was cast into prison Pilate therefore willing to release Jesus speak unto, again to them but they cried saying crucify him crucify him and said unto him and the third time why what evil had he done I have found no cause of death in him I will therefore chest chast chastise him and let him go and they were instant with loud voice requiring that he might be crucified and the voices of them and of the chief priests prevail and Pilate gave sentence that it should be as they required and he released unto them that for the sedition and murder was cast into prison whom they had desired but he delivered Jesus to their will and as they led him away they laid upon him one Simon a Christian a Cranian, coming out of country and on him they laid the cross that he might bear it after Jesus Verse 27. And there followed him a great company of people and of women, which also bewailed and lamented him. And But Jesus standing unto them said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourself and for your children. For behold, the days are coming, in the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bear, and the paps which never gave suck, that they shall begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills cover us. For they do things in green trees. For if they do things in for if they do if they do these things in a green tree what shall be done in the dry and there were also two other malefactors left with him to the to to be put to death and when they were come to the place which is called calvary there they crucified him and the malefactors one of the right hand and the other on the on the left then said jesus father forgive them for they knew not what they do and they parted his raiment and cast lost and the people stood beholding and the rulers also with him deride or derided him saying he saved others let him save himself if he be christ the 
chosen of the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and saying, If thou be the king of Jews, save yourself. And the superscription also was written over him in the letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. And one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Do us not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation, and we indeed justly. And we indeed justly, for we received the due reward of our deeds. For, but this man had done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. Verse 45. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the mist. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. And, my, and, and having said that, he gave up his ghost. Now, when the centurion saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, Certainly, this was a righteous man. And all the people that came together to, to that side, beholding the things which were done, smote their breast and returned. And all his acquaintance and the women that followed him from Galilee stood afar off, beholding these things. And behold, there was a man named Joseph, a counselor, and he was a good man and a just. The same had not consented to the counsel and deed of them. He was of Arimathea, a city of Jew, a city of the Jews, who also himself waited for the kingdom of God. This man went unto Pilate and begged the body of Jesus, and he took it down and wrapped it in linen and laid it in the sepulchre that was hewn in stone, wherein never man before was laid. And that day was the preparation, and the Sabbath drew near. And the woman also, which came with him, from Galilee followed him and behold beheld the sepulchre and how his body was laid and they returned and prepared spices and ointments and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandments. Brilliant reading Pastor William Owusu amazing reading ladies and gentlemen I am going to allow Pastor William uh, do just chapter 23 in our language Lucas and Pati today and you know Emi and Sa Yimua Irika Yano Everybody, we are you not my person, and on qua a more do you know me, you know the union free mona on fire, and you know me and Sano in Tuntin and me in Tiabra. Yes, yes, you could not Pilato and him, and then the Pacuni in our soil, the call at the call Pilato and him. No, for us here to turn on or say, Yahoo, so only baby, we say, yeah, mine. Now, a breast, uh, what brassa will need to a macassary. Now, I can't on no running, so on only on. But you say now, Casa or no, any Christ or any Christ or no. Now, Pilato be sane say, when you are for him and I will go and say, Waka. Now, Pilato catch a soft from penny for him, Crofoco, and say, Me won't have four bobia, only pay him now. So, what kind are I say, or Hanya or Manmo or Church, you, you dear, mine in Elmo, who for I say, Galilea, no, the Abedru, hey, now Pilato, see Galilea, Dino, or be sad, say, only pay your Galilea near now, what the years to come, Herodi. No, who wants to free Herodi as a son, or my not the no come, Herodi, Nanamono, not on our own soil. Jerusalem. Now, how are the who yes, you know? Then he say, if he say, oh, pay so who no ache. Now, what ten who are in Simontra? Then they need us also obey and send to anybody. Now, who no? No, be some is an ensemble brain. Now, so I'm one of now. So now, I saw from penny for the actual for the engine hole. Now, to turn an aura. Now, how are the name dumb no born at the park grown home? Now, share not a dear Nahana heavy. They no call Koma Pilato. Now, what Dano Arana? Herod the Pilato far down for a canonade. Nanka, where you are not for Yaka. Pilato did my yesu. Now, Pilato Fra, so from Penny Four and Penny Four, and no man in a buano, not catch her one say. What did you be ye abram is say? Obi, I will say, oh, my nashe. Marcia Nimu and and him. Now, man, who in some arm, what a tone, and all, after Wissam Biera, only pay him. Herod in so and who, no man, not in a bray, and no man, the bray in nashe. Oh, ya, a kunae Biera. Verse sixteen. Ain't he, Michel, Michel, no, not. And I'm a giant, and so as I said, not set that a fashion. No, 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 no,
No, what the what the crown was so simo be our of free Kirini, ah, of free a full murubemu. No, what the Asenian attorney so say, on Swanny Yesuchi, no, a man who nipper co cassia dignity, ne ma already a bobo nor is soon. Now, yes, you done in the nature, I won't say, Yerusalem, mamma, monsume, no monsum mone moma, nashe. Nabi Reba, our Becca's in Shrani Aboni, and your Funa and Woda, and the Nufa on the Muda, and will be for us here, catcher, and me possess, Monshe and so, and then Unco Quasse, Moncatay and so, Nasse, what the Yeri Yendria Mono are, at the end of the Bay Dia, dear Wuya, no, I didn't buy a four burn, and so can home, a course or a cocuno, go gotta. No, I drew baby out for her interior swano, a one hour seneno, a neba or seno, and then the boy of forno, now Obaku, Nifano, Baku, the Bunkum, Nayasu can say, Eja, Fatcha one, no, and the Orea, now a chain in Tonto, or chain in Tonto, the chair, chain and Tumemo. Now, on my Jina Ho, Erisha, now Penu Follon Suji, no one he, and Penu Follon Suji, and he said, What ye have been on, or ye, or ye, or set, or ye, Christ or Noah, when you're going to point you know, Manon Sony, yes, who are good. Now, sure, Follon so grown, and he a grown home, no ban in chamber man in Sakaka, no a castle. So you that so you that we are that we are you that for him. Joe home now, chair a tribune so that if he said, Oh, you know you that for him, or you can for ah or such a nagin. The thirty nine. Now the prayer for ah, what son of one moon mobile who ya no say, and you only Christian, Joe only any yen. Now Bahunu Bua and the candidate himself. Won't so won't show young couple. So what football corona remove now. Now yen dear, dear, a cinema pepper and a yenya. And the Etienne Pepin, the Enya, the Sayen, and a Yenya, you know. Now, you dear, on Yan from Sobiara, no Casa Yasu, Sobo, and Hindu Mua Kaime. Now, catch her and send a crime, and someone said, And ne, we were coming home our paradise, our ho, yes, who never a real do me, you know, a sumo dress, I see Nina, so you could see a real no means, no real drusum. Now, so I don't want to my eye a chain for the month here. Now, yes, the next year, see, I'm saying, Aja, when some of them are home, Miss, no Casa, no Jerm, new war. In Crawford, Cocono. Now, so for Hano so penny, and who did yes, you know, or say Yanko Pony when you say, Ampa will nip pay you in the paternity. Now, Crawford, Coco, our bar, Hopper Share, a dear Nina, who did yes, you know, or Bobo and Coco so, or Bobo and Coco so, Sunny Coy, Nam Penny for Nina, and Ma, our dear Chief Free Galilea, Galilea, no, Edge, Edge, Abigina, a church, and near me. Yes, you see, Nasha, or Barry, maybe our free or friend Yosef, our yet, but. Bejani na oye oni papa a o tene no die wa mpene won ejina ene won ne no so if we say if you da for crow aromati mu ono ara nso na wore chain yakopon hinde no ono na o call plato nche kwaso le yesu emu no na o koyi emu no chichire no nyura mu na o de koto eda a wo twa abu mu a oni pa biara na emu na eda no ya ho sesiada na homeda reben na ma no nso a woni ni figa lelia ba e no di na twi e ko share eda no ne sade e wo de na emu no to ho fa e na o sane ko siesie nro ene engu hwam na homeda no wo ye kom sade e mra no te no brilliant brilliant reading pastor wele Ladies and gentlemen, I intentionally made us so read all this, you know, uh, so that we will understand the sequence of events that really preceded to the sacrifice of the cross, the passion, the sacrifice, the, you know, suffering, let me use that particular word, the suffering that Jesus made on the cross for all of us. Now, we will all have, will have to understand that without this particular sacrifice, we will be nothing. We can never be called or referred to as children of God. In other words, we can never be adopted. The sequence of salvation or the package of salvation is amazing. Today, it is of a deep reflection that we celebrate the goodness and the price that was made on the cross of Calvary. And so everybody, when you hear our voice, don't joke with this. It was a prize that has made you. You know, it's just like football players. We have contractors. We have managers. And we have the players and the teams. There are people that are going to negotiate and, uh, you know, connect the player to the team. And once they are, the price is paid then they can be referred to as a player for that team. Jesus did a beautiful thing. He did a reconciliation work between God and man. And this morning, I would like us to be able to understand that concept and revelation to his glory. 
this particular thing was typified in uh, 1 Peter chapter 2 verse number 22. 1 Peter, the second chapter, the 22nd verse. The Bible was talking about the concepts, you know, of redemption and salvation. Pastor Willie, let's work. Who did no sin? Neither was God found in his mouth. The Bible said Jesus, he did no sin. There was no spot that was found in him. Read. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he was reviled, he reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not. He, when he was suffered, when he went through the suffering, he threatened not. Read. But committed himself to him that judged righteously. Come on. Who his own self bear our sins in his body on a tree, that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness oh, yeah. by whose stripes ye were healed. Oh yeah. So he went to make reference to the book of Isaiah and uh, you know because he was led to the slaughter and we you know, okay, you know what I was saying? Now we plan. We plan. Me pesa me ke kan sam kakra e wo Yesu pra no chero wo pra en so amie na no ye pra ti ase mi na me jire me wo se e dia bai na be ma de shi e wu ama ko ate se me e dia bai pa e de be ba wo bi a wo ye de shi e wo ye wo hene e wu ama ko ate se me ye pra no mi mi nti is an amazement I think about what he did for me. And I I I reflect. Sir, I don't know what kind of a looking at a whole crown bit of mind you know you had in your first seven. First Peter chapter two verse number twenty two. Let's hear God. Oh no, now one your bonnet. Nanswa who na dana noom. Ono na wa yano na wa anya bi. Oh ya. Oh na mane. Wa anya bone. Ya unu na da wane noom. Read the word. Oh na mane. No wa una una. No wa de she. Dia opu atentine no no ensa. Ono ra no swa yam bone wane hone muko du yano so. Se ye wua ma bone ya. Ye ntina se matine ne. Se ye wua ma bone ya. Ye ntina se matine ne. Read. Ono na wadene man. Ne man champion ma sen ya. Oh ya. We are healed by his stripes. And this is not a coincidence. That even as I'm speaking right now, ladies and gentlemen, we are now at a point where the whole world is sick. The whole world is sick. If the whole world is not sick, we will not be doing, you know, this particular service from our studios. It will be in a church. This convention should have started last Tuesday. Every year we have done it. Jesus' celebration is one of the biggest meetings, if not the biggest meeting, in the history of this church. I mean, it, we look forward to it. We count the days and the weeks and the months until it comes. But because the whole world is sick, we are transmitting life from our eternal live studios. And you know, the people are watching. And those that are listening on Rainbow Radio 87.5, I welcome all of you. Dr. Mark, thank you very much together with your team. When I think about how sick the world is to the point that within just four to five weeks America have lost almost 16,000 of our brothers and sisters. 16,000 of our brothers and sisters. As we are speaking right now, the people that have recorded the cases of coronavirus that have been recorded all around the world, 1.6 million. 1.6 million cases within just three months. 1.3, 1 1.6 million in all around the world. It brings me a very sober reflection. But the Bible is very, very clear and the scriptures cannot be broken that by his stripes we are healed. I'm telling the world, if you need healing out of your belly, he can make living waters flow. Because there is a balm in Gilead and there is a physician. Oh yeah, there is a physician. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse number 21 now. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 Verse number 21 does. For he had made him to be sin for us. Who knew no sin? Oh yeah. 
we that had made him to be sin for us who knew no sin. That we might be made the righteousness that of God. That we might be made the righteousness of God. In him. In Christ. Read. <laughs> you know, then, uh, you know, Again, three. One word in here. Yeah, we be we we in Sukraya now. We can get three verse number. Ben nineteen. Hold on. Abam viyenye munti asiyakra. And he said, when you go to Christ, you are a part of three. We are from the home. Oh yeah. Now we are more full strength. We are. For God was in Christ reconciling the world back to Himself, and He does not impute sin. So no, no, the impata asem na shayen. No, the impata asem wa shayen. Asem jeni ya yongo fan wakasi. Enti ye ye above former Christ. Oh yeah. At the same time, upon them the sorry to fall. Yet at the same time, upon them the sorry to fall. Yet in a Christian name, we must say, "Mumma won patan chimum from the upon him." If you say the only money, the only money, or the only money, my na yaya ni upon what tinene? Yeah, I won't move. The only money, no, what the only money tinene? What the only money upon him? My na ya ya ba be ye we ni tinene. I'm I'm telling the world one more time. That he is standing at the door and knocking. If anybody will open him up, he will come in. The world is bleeding. This Easter, the world is bleeding. There are many, many, many people in America right now, in Italy, in Spain, in the United Kingdom, including the British Prime Minister who is spending this Easter in hospital. We thank God for honoring our prayers and bringing the British Prime Minister from ICU to a recovery ward. That he, which, he that which has begun a good work is going to accomplish it. I want to assure the world there is hope. There is hope. I want to assure the Republic of Ghana there is hope. There is health in Christ and there is salvation in Christ. I want to tell everybody this is not a time of me new way, me new way, Jensi. We don't know because already, you know, we are, you know, uh, standing in a disadvantageous particular disposition. But be a Jina, no, hear more. It, this is not the time I don't believe in Jesus and there is no Jesus and find a good thing. Since we don't know if we have a trend and a Zugaga, we be a empty bin, can be a Angela Omero. We can't so much. This is not the time for your nonsense. Rather, this is the time for us to be able to come to the place of repentance. So, this particular Easter is a time of reflection. It's a time of deep reflection. Even as we reflect, we need renewal. And we can never renew except we repent. So even as we are here gathered in the presence of the Lord, we will have to understand. It's Easter. Where are the Easter eggs? Where are the Easter feasts? Where are the Easter jabis? Where are the Easter canticles? Where are the songs of Easter? Don't tell me it is the same. It is not. I am not a hypocrite. It is not the same. It is a different Easter. An Easter that have changed history. This calls for a super reflection to return back to our God. This morning, I'm telling you that after deep reflection, we need to renew our heart. Easter is a time to renew and to rededicate our lives back to God. This morning, ladies and gentlemen, even as you listen on radio and watch online, I want to tell everybody that is watching and everybody that is listening, come back to the Lord. Come back to the Lord. If I should do so, he's going to restore and show us his glory. Hebrews chapter 5, verse number 16. Hebrews 5, verse 16. Yeah. Hebrews 5, verse number 16. Was, is it 14? All right. Read, let's, let's read from uh, chapter 5. Let's read from verse number. Uh, let's pick it up from verse number 5. Let's. See how it will go. Come down. 
Yeah, Hebrews 5. Yeah. Oh, come down. Yeah. Let's read from verse number 4 downwards and then we'll bring it to 14. And no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made an high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. Come on. As he said unto also in another place, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears, unto him thou was able to save him from death, and was heard in that he feared. Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered, and being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him, called of God and high priest after the order of Melchizedek. Of him whom we have many things to say oh, and yeah. hard to be uttered, yeah. seeing ye are dull of hearing. For when the, for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again. For the time that you need to be teachers, you have need that somebody teach you again. Read. <laughs> ye that need, okay. Which be the first principles of the oral course of God. God. And I become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone that uses milk is all skillful in the word of righteousness. For he is a baby, but strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. I want us to read it from verse number 11 in our language. Uh, Hebrew chapter 5 verse 11 to 14. Let's hear God's word and then we are going to wrap up. Let's hear God's word and then we are going to wrap up. Hebrew form Christopher a tree sign. God. And no one ever has some of those who are sitting in your dance, okay? If it's a more massive sense, ne? Massive sense, God. Now, bro, it's a sign. Can we have church for? Every time girls say some of you have church for. Here we also 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 have church for. I like the word he is using, the word of righteousness. It's unskilled in the word of righteousness. Read the word. No, ya kokwa. Oh, ya dear. A kokwa. Ne jani ya dear no fata wana wenyi ni na a and a and nam da da adi yenti wana jiri mutu mi a kokwa wo papa ene boni hu yi yi hu. Well, I I look at Easter and these are the words that the Lord is imprinted in my spirit to tell the Christians and everybody who does not know Christ. Easter is not even a time where you know uh, Akumano Iprim. There were two male factors that were baptized with Christ. When I look at the words that Jesus spoke on the cross, it speaks to me. The first words that he spoke, you know, when he laid on that particular cross was came from Luke 23 and verse number 34. The first words, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Will you read it? So Luke chapter 23 verse 24. 34. 34. 34. Yeah. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And, and they, then the second verse was in verse 43. Read that also quickly. Let's hear. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shall thou be with me today in paradise. Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. There were two male factors that were baptized with Christ. I am building on something. The Bible said when they laid on that particular cross, these two guys started speaking to the master. One said unto him, <laughs> You are the Christ. Save us and save yourself. They had to rebuke him saying, don't you fear God? This man has done nothing wrong. The Bible declared very emphatically clear. He turned to the Lord and said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. But where did he get that revelation from that Jesus is a king and has a domain? The Bible said the Lord turned unto him and spoke these words unto him. He said, truly or verily, assuredly, I say unto you, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. No clear, the civil said, and that day will be coming home and will paradise. But he has something about the way, but they can't say me, and he has changed it. Will him say, Sandy Pano, I'm worse. Sandy Pano, I'm your confirmation. Sandy Pano, I'm going to cut keys in classes. Sandy Pano, I'm going to cool. Sandy Pano, I'm going to ask on the mother. And that day will become a home of paradise. I came in Romans, Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. 
The Bible talked about something very profound in its presentation. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. Will you let's hear God's word? That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth. If you will confess with your mouth. That Jesus Christ that is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. And shall believe in thy heart. And shall believe in your heart. That God has, that raised, him God from the dead. has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be the saved. The Bible said you will be saved. Where are you? And the aircraft is in the where the air catcher in the park? He's standing there and he's young cock on him punch. I bet I could have seen him with them. See, we pray. We pray. We are bare mad. He be called and some and some come party. Bruce Mitchell. Now some and Bruce for another year. Wow. What do you have party? Now we will be. We shut them. We are passing. We bring me. We go and come to that cognizant understanding. And that day we become a whole paradise. Today. Assuredly, you will be with me in paradise. This is what the Lord has done for us. Why will I neglect so great a salvation? Why? Why will I neglect so great a salvation? Why will I neglect so great a salvation? I tell you, will it, uh, why will I escape if I neglect so great a salvation? This is the love of God presented to us. I like the third words Jesus speak on the cross. John chapter 19, verse number 26 to 27. The third words of Christ on the cross. Amazing words. Will you come here to you? Yes, I say. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then said he to the disciples, Behold thy mother. Yes, he was still responsible. Taking responsibility. One of the things that I have said, you know, in this coronavirus uh, pandemic season, uh, we should learn, number one, wisdom. Number two, we should take responsibility. I am going to use the opportunity to begin with, you know, thanking His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana. Your Excellency, thank you very much. For the alleviation of suffering that you have, you know, taken from the shoulders of the people of Ghana. Yesterday in your address, you also said, Your Excellency, that you have given 50% uh, off on electricity on people. But I'm going to use the opportunity, Your Excellency, to speak to my fellow Ghanaians that this is the time to take responsibility. And yeah, yes, yes, it's a free thing. Who be bought to work? And yeah, yes, Kamiya ye 50% free nte. Uo ba ba be suso. E yi su do kwa. E ni ben di yon mwa. Wamo yi yantam jibi yi. Wanya a wufra diya. Na wande e trashi ye. Ti e niye. It is time to take responsibility. And one of the taking of responsibility. Is to be asking yourself. A very good question like. Am I saved? Am I saved? The way people are dying all around the world gives me a sober reflection. An old man that came on the news last night, you know, because the coronavirus is such that when you are, you know, hospitalized, you cannot visit your relative. If you are dying, they cannot be there. The old man cried and said, he did not say goodbye. She did not say goodbye. She did, I did not have the opportunity to be by her side. I did not have the opportunity to touch her. I did not have the opportunity to kiss her. And I'm saying, brother, would you kiss her? Would you go home? Any brother back? Any brother back? The baby I have just now, hey, any brother that you can't even have the opportunity to plan, to think, and I'm going to plan. It's going to happen this way. It's going to happen that way. Put to practice. Should you stand before the throne of God this morning? What are you going to account for your soul? Are you saved? Are you born again? Do you know Christ as Savior? Is he in your life? Do you have a relationship with him? It, you know, Jesus was telling the disciple that he loved, this is my mother, Maria. And you, mother, this is your son. From today, I relinquish responsibility and I want him to take care of you. Any need that you may have, irresponsible. You cannot be a husband and neglect your wife and your children. You cannot be a wife and neglect your husband and your children. You cannot be a boss and neglect your people. You cannot be, you know, an employee and neglect the vision 
There be at the end of no. I'm telling you, responsibility must be taken. You cannot be a citizen of this country and be a spectator. Tiri. Responsibility must be taken. When Jesus spoke the fourth words, you know, on the cross, it came from Mark 15, 35. Mark chapter 15 and verse number 35. It is a song of Israel. You know, one of the songs that have been documented in the scriptures. Will it? King Ahomi in Tebra. And some of them that stood. Saints of the whole world. This morning I have taken my time because I woke up with a deep reflection this dawn. I was telling, you know, my wife, I said, before I went to OKFM this morning to preach the word of the Lord, I asked myself and told myself the answer to the question that without Christ, I would have been nothing. Without Jesus Christ in my life, my life will be nothing. So I woke up this morning with a very heavy heart to say thank you to the Lord. Because me not, most of my mates are dead. And they died in some prisons. And so Christ means everything to me. And the assembly ban area, yeah. Ali Ali Lama Sabatani. And then t ne Uradia Pao no. Now I can go feed Rubone and the answer. And we are seeing now bone ne kute urade. He was carrying the sins of the world. Whilst I was yet a sinner, he died for me. Even as I bring my message to a close, I want to tell everybody who is watching us and who is listening to us, make it right with God. normal. At a point, you need to just reflect, come to your senses and make it right with God. In John chapter 19, verse number 28, Jesus made the fifth pronouncement on the cross. John 19, verse 28. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. I thirst. And in verse 30, you know, uh, very interestingly, in verse 30, same John 19, Verse 30, his sixth words came out. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. It is finished. It is finished. And there was the last words which came in Luke 23, verse number 46. And that is what I would like to close with. That is what I would like to close with. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said that, he gave up the ghost. Well, you want us to read that one in three and then we will be wrapping up. The same particular scripture. Hallelujah. Now, every day I a woman, you know, when you read that, it reminded me of 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 19. 1 Peter 4, 19. Now, Peter can see me. If I said, you know, okay, and then we can. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to Him in well doing. Hey! As unto a faithful Creator. Hi, my Lord. King of the Jews, me and you. First Peter chapter four, verse number nineteen, and then you know we bring our message to a close. And so one hour, who no amani said the nyango pon peno. In fact, one cry in shining sa. Set a bar dia no kafu wa papa yimu. We listen and kind of you. In to so one hour, who no amani said the nyango pon peno. In fact, one cry in shining sa. Set a bar dia no kafu. Kind of last one, me too. In to so one hour, who no amani said the nyango pon peno. In fact, one cry in shining sa. Jeremiah 16 verse 1 Will you come home here? Omayeno say ye. Omayeno say ye. 
or minor messay. If you go back to a petro or not, was in Tiwamwa, a wuna mania, send ye when you are me I'm an unu nibia, yami peo. I'm telling you, I'm an unu, a bia, yami pe. Let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls unto a faithful savior or keeper. So Jesus said, Father, in your hands I commit my spirit. This is the time the world will have to run to him and commit the nations unto him. As I close, I want to tell everybody that is watching us, run to Jesus and renew your love for him. This is the time, you see, you know, what we have seen within these few weeks, when this thing, this pandemic goes to an end, I believe that lessons have been learned. That the keeping of our souls to is unto a faithful savior. Was it faithful there? Uh, but of faithful something. English. Faithful. Let us commit the keeping of our souls as unto a faithful. But I say, uh, faithful creator. Faithful creator. The Lord will not cast you off when you run to him. Can I have the opportunity this morning? To pray with somebody who wants to give your life to Christ. And to all of you who want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. No matter what it is, run to him. And no matter what you have done. No matter what your iniquity and your transgression is. That the Lord is faithful. To do exceedingly abundantly. Including the work of your soul. I need Jesus. I need Jesus. Let them that suffer commit the keeping of their souls as unto a faithful creator. Wherever you are, we want to commit our souls unto a faithful creator. Run to Christ. He is the answer for the world today. Above him, there is no other. Jesus is the way. This morning, we are having a renewal service. This morning, we are having a rededication service. And this morning, we are asking God's blessings upon the world. I want to use the opportunity for us to pray. Wherever you are, it is a very sober, reflective prayer. Put your hand on your chest and begin to talk to the Lord wherever you might be. This is a personal prayer. This is a very, very, very personal prayer. We are asking God's mercy. We are asking God's grace. We are asking God to show us His glory. We are asking God to show us His glory. Wherever you are, join us. In the name of the Lord Jesus. This is Easter. Yeah, Easter. That is what it is. The Passover. He will pass over us. And when the angel of death sees the blood, he will pass over it. 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 Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. He shed his blood to atone the sins of the world. Let us run to him, the keeper of our souls. And the Lord will have mercy and pardon abundantly. Come on. He asking the mercies and the goodness and the grace of God. We are asking God's goodness and mercy and the grace of God. We are asking the goodness, the mercies and the grace of God. Show us your glory. Show us your glory. Asenianesu 
That's right. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse number 16, 17, 18 downwards. If your sins be as scarlet, I will make it white as snow. If it be red as crimson, I will make it white as wool. This morning, ladies and gentlemen, even as we are dedicating our lives unto the Lord, we are asking that our sins be washed in the blood of Jesus. Even those people who think we are standing, the people who think you are Christian, this is the time of renewal. This is the time of rededication. This is the time to rededicate your heart to the Lord. Wherever you might be, I'm asking you to pray this with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I rededicate my heart. I rededicate my heart. To you. To you. Come in. Come in. And dwell in my heart. And dwell in my heart. Have your way. Have your way. In my life. In my life. Today. Today. I receive, I receive eternal life, eternal life into my spirit. Into my spirit, I am born again. I am born again. I am renewed. I am renewed. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, fill me, fill me, anoint me, anoint me, and favor me, and favor me in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Father, in the name of Jesus, today we break the body of Christ and we spill His blood and we become one with Him. I pray in the name of Jesus, everybody who have. Join us in this particular service. I ask for your renewal, your revival, your grace. Revival in even salvation. That salvation is a gift that you gave unto us on the cross of Calvary through your blood. I pray in the name of Jesus. Be kind to everybody who have joined us on radio and on television. And show us your glory even unto the end. I pray for the world. The world is bleeding at this moment. We need the balm of Gilead and the spices of Egypt. We need you, physician of our souls, author and finisher of our faith. Come through and heal the nations. We pray for America. We pray for Spain. We pray for France. We pray for Italy. We pray for the United Kingdom. We pray for Africa. Holy Ghost, let your hand 
of renewal come upon us. Let us know that you are the only true Savior and there is none. Everybody who will watch this video even later, may they come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And may their names be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I thank you for the opportunity to receive redemption, to receive regeneration, to receive propitiation, to receive adoption, to receive justification and glorification in Christ Jesus. Thank you for the sacrifice of the cross one more time. In Jesus' precious name. And somebody shout amen and amen. amen. amen.